showcase the DMV artistry. I'm the type of person I love to bring others along with me. Now let's be real, the artistry world is catty and shady. Yeah, I know some of you watch the show but probably don't want to say it, but thank you. But yeah, so I put the two together, yeah, the makeup artistry class with the logo and the show changed the name. And I think I made it. All right, you already know. Well, you said it. Because I was like, oh my God, we are like freaking frat. Yep, the Oops. new freaking frat. frat. But you know, you know, uh, you know, you didn't say that other people like, you know, you drug people stuff. We don't oh, do no, that. Yeah, no, yeah no, we don't no, do no, that. No. So we really, you wrong know. Show. Wrong show. Wrong show. Wrong show. But we really are. We really got really close. Yes. No, so like, like really. And like, it was like instantly. instantly. No, we did. Yeah. But isn't it crazy? Okay, you all remember. Roll the tape. Okay, so today, Harley set up the meeting between Stefan and I. You know, I already talked about, you know, the whole thing with my friend Enrique and him. We'll see how this goes. I'm curious to really get to know Stefan and to see if I'm wrong about him. Right, same circle, kind of sort of. people, but don't really know. Don't know each other, and I'm like, okay, so when Harley was like, when, we were, when I was telling him about how I wanted to put together you know, my own glam squad because I feel like a lot of these people that's in the DMV that's saying they have these glam squads, they are setting people up a yes, full fledged lot. Yeah. So oh, when Harley was like, um, what about Stefan? And what's crazy, your name had came up again. And I was like, Were you apprehensive? <laughs> I have a brother okay. that, you know, um, y'all don't get along. So I'm the type of person. And I, I'm like that do we not get like, along or do we not speak? I feel like there's a difference. Okay, it's a recap. Light skin or recap. Light skin or recap. Exactly. Now, those who know my past and know the history of that, that caught me off guard because I was like, one, how is it that he still don't like me? And two, 
Why is that still an issue? Because I'm like, I didn't ask the whole situation. Like, well, what do you do? You know, I knew it was something about, I guess you all had dated the same, same person or something like that. Well, it actually happened twice. The first time he dated the guy first, and then I ended up dating the person. And then the second guy, who actually you probably know because I don't, I mean, I don't know if they're still together or they're not. I really don't okay. care. So now listening to Stefan, maybe I was a little, you know, unfair for just saying I don't like him. And we all go through it. But I guess if you always really saw each other and really didn't like each other and you're dating the same people, I guess I wouldn't like you either. But I'm glad we talked and now we can finally move forward. Yeah. <laughs> I was meeting with my then brother Enrique and that's how, you know, I really didn't like him at all. But we're not even friends anymore. Like, can you ever believe that? Yes. God. I told you we had history. I told you that it just wasn't right. It wasn't right, y'all. No, I was really hurt by that because my thing was, I wasn't trying to throw anybody under the bus. Mm -hmm. You had to get the opportunity to tell your side. Exactly. You act like I'm saying he has level 15 people in the bushes. <laughs> Throwing you under the bus, I just don't understand. But, you know, I think it was actually people in his ear because he said, his friend said that. But I was supposed to be your sister. Well, fiance or whatever it was. And I actually took his name out of the show. So I really was trying to be a good friend. But it just seems as though every time I'm trying to do something, you agreed to it. You agreed to shoot. And then two days later, you were like, can you take me out of your whole show and any mentions of me? Like, I did something to you when I was rude to you. Because the truth was going to come out. Sorry. That's just what it was. He realized that the truth was actually going to have its side. And that's what it was. And he didn't want any part of it. He has this whole new life now. And he doesn't want anybody to be a part of it. And if you know who that person is, because I'm still not going to say your name. Again, I wish you the best. Have a happy life. But y'all people are going to stop playing. You found out what the truth was. She found out what the truth was, and you didn't like it. You had your side of the story, and it stuck for so long, and now the truth is out. Nobody had a problem with you. We dated the same people. So what? Oh, speaking of which, when you were like, oh, you don't have no problem having a conversation with me, that's also another lie, because you saw me at her and Orlando's brunch that you were at for 15 minutes and didn't uh, say anything to me. It was so you hot. had the opportunity. Right, yeah, it got hot in the kitchen. <laughs> and you know what? I think we actually started to be cool then. Exactly. Because I was like, wow, I know that you don't like heat. I don't like to be anywhere this hot. But when I was dancing to my song, what's mm. my song? Uh, uh, I can't remember. Uh, but, but, yeah. No, not Rob bro. That's not it. My what favorite song? song. I can't remember. Really but you were dancing with me at the brunch, and I was kind of hurt that you only came for 15 minutes. And you... Stayed the whole time. And it was and it was hot, y'all. No, it was, it was, it was hot, <laughs> full, extra large. It was real extra large, ninety eight degrees up in there. Yes, but you stayed. Yeah. But oh well. <sighs> Next caller. I guys are watching. Ah, I ain't coming because I know I ain't gonna have no seats. I don't live here, so I definitely ain't coming. But you know, it was good that Shonda got to show her clothes off. I didn't win, but that's the first time we all got to know each other. Mm -hmm. And Amber didn't show up because she was buying soap with her father at Annapolis Mall. <laughs> but she said that she, you know, had another gig that was canceled. So I really didn't understand 
why she didn't show up when she knew she was going to be in town. I guess, you know, that's the first time Esquire, you know, had something to say. <sighs> I, he always <laughs> I, I don't know. He always had something to say. But, you know, huh, the guy that sang, <laughs> he was bringing R&B back. It was so bad. I think I even turned around. So yeah, I did turn around because it was bad. It was so bad. And then whose R&B was he bringing back? I don't remember r and sounded like that. Okay, he looks like Jamie Foxx and Bibi Cole with a little tarantula. But you know what? That started it all. The yeah. crew and everything, you know? And I'm grateful for all of you that really, really enjoyed it. Like 7,000 people watched yes, that episode. Did. Thank you all. Oh, and I'm really thankful because you know what? The trailer went viral. Mm -hmm. 158,000 people, and I'm so grateful, everybody. But he won't be singing another by Dag on events. On to episode two. They give back for children. So I know everybody was tripping because I wasn't at the first gig where my girl Ty Carr was being honored, but I had a gig in New York and although it did get canceled at the last minute, I took that opportunity to spend time with my dad. What people don't know is that me and my dad didn't always have the greatest relationship, so we're building now. I don't care if they were tripping because family is Okay. So what is going on? You coming tonight, girl? I would have loved to be in the support to support my girl, but because of religious reasons, I don't celebrate holidays. It's a give back. It has nothing to do with your religion or anything like that. Now we're talking about the give back. Mm -hmm. And Amber said she wasn't coming. Now y'all come on, the good Lord went everywhere. Ooh, I'm just saying. I didn't even know that she was Jehovah's Witness in the back when we were in the Mac days. But okay, I'm a Christian and I still will go to a club and sit with you if it is your birthday. Support. Amber couldn't come, remember we talked about that. And that's how the whole religion thing came in. Mm -hmm. She didn't want anybody to know she was Jehovah's Witness. So I didn't, if you watched the episode, I didn't say anything about that. I said about religion. And then I thought it was good to bring it up on the show because a lot of times people do debate about religion. Uh -huh. So I definitely wanted that to be in the show. I never said anything, but that's why I brought it out, you know, outside. Messy, but, messy, messy. It's all about support. Whether, whatever whatever your exactly. religious beliefs exactly. are, exactly. yes, I understand your Jehovah's Witness. I don't agree with some of the stuff you do. And we are a team. Right. All the team is supposed to be here. But there's no I team. So far, so good. She's showing it's about me and my schedule, what I want to do. I kind of actually feel what Esquire is coming from. I mean, Amber said she couldn't make it, and then she came and then left after we talked. And then I feel some type of way because our meeting before the holiday party was actually on the same street. I don't know. Some things, that's why I was saying, I think I might have to watch. And people will switch up to be the victim. I had her daughter on my radio show two times, invited her to Job Corps, Snob, Envy, Sassy, Nova, Original Bow, which is my self-awareness program for young girls. And I really wanted to help her get her broken silence thing up, you know, and going. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm always about giving back. But... She was on this thing for BET, and I joked about it and said, hey, hi, what you doing? How you get that one? Right. She my ignored me. My my she ignored me. So she tried to say she ignored me because I ignored her about my lipstick line. But you already know, your girl don't lie. So, receipts. <laughs> receipts. Oh my god, well first of all, you was late, but listen you came, but you had a gift. 
Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I you had it there. I was in my bowling league. Yeah, yes. y'all know. Oh, Lord. I was in my bowling league, and I texted. I said I got bowling league. I can't miss it. You know all that bowling. bowling. Oh, I'll be there as soon as league is over. As soon as league was, league was over, he was there. I was there. What so the crew went to go do an event for Beauty Couture today. And of course, I wasn't there, unfortunately. So I can only imagine how that conversation is going. Oh, Amber isn't here again. The story of my life. That too. Amber wasn't there for Beauty Couture. Let me give y'all two. Oh, my daughter had a heart accident. You didn't so see accident. Beauty Couture's and today, grand opening. So grand opening. Because the cameraman. She called me and that's the Kind of short. Glasses. Maybe you might know him. Don't know. But I'm going to tell you this. He lost all the footage and got mad because me as a woman, a woman boss, just because I'm not a man doesn't mean that I have to be nice about, you know, you losing footage and not even telling somebody that you lost it. I asked you to find it within a week. It took you four weeks to even return calls or text messages. And even at the cameraman, Ashley's production, okay. Ray and Jenkins, for extra large, Tried to even recover, you know, the footage. And then you tried to snap bad at me, not knowing. Yeah, don't do it. Things are covered over here. All right. <laughs> oh my God, it's so terrible. I, you know, I'm not gonna say I hate all people, but you know, you know who get on my nerves? People with businesses, especially film people. <laughs> that say they have a business and a company and lose people footage and take 50 years to find it but swear they popping and doing a whole bunch of stuff but the only stuff they doing is in southeast mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a personal um yeah, clearly. shot clearly. So, uh -oh. but Brayden from x Lens Productions is here y'all can get at him here for a lot all right but you didn't get to see it and i'm sorry guys i love my beauty couture girls ever since hair raisers I really wanted you to see how amazing those ladies are. Please, please support them at Beauty Couture. Dang, I'm doing a whole commercial. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you know what? It was something I approached you about. Oh, yeah. Esquire was supposed to be in Louisiana. And this was the first call that we had about Beauty Couture. Well, I was a little irritated because Stefan wasn't on the call and some <laughs> other people were really late. Tanya used to always be on time for the call. <laughs> That's how she is. But... Esquire will always peek into the group text, Ugh. but never respond, but only respond separately to me. So, you know how I knew where he was? <laughs> Esquire. He sent a screenshot of Stefan and Orlando on Facebook Live cool. talking about Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> so, first of all, let me clear that up. <laughs> There was a lot in the beginning when everybody was so gung ho and yes, we're going to do this, da 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 da. It was a lot going on in the group chat. So when she was sending information, people would just like start texting and this and this. So it was just like a loss of communication in between when the call was, what day it was, da da da. So I missed the call. Yes, I was on FaceTime, Facebook Live, talking about Beyonce and Rihanna. We was just and he told on y'all, yeah. but y'all didn't get to see that episode because. It All lost. the footage was lost. Now, something else happened. So, we replaced it with me going to check up on Amber about her daughter being in the car accident. That big dog. That dog. Now, let me tell you this. This is how I wanted, I didn't want anybody to look bad. So, what I did was, before our issue started, what happened was, I said, you know what? I'm going to make it look as if she didn't just not come. Because she didn't come to Beauty Couture. And that was another thing that she had missed. So what you all thought was that somebody commented and said, well, I'm glad you knew that her daughter was in an accident and she just didn't show up. Well, you're wrong. She didn't show up for Beauty Couture. And because I was a good friend and didn't want her to get the bad rep, I told my camera guy, we're going to act like the accident happened on Beauty Couture. But it did. Mm. So one thing about me, when people... You know, do you wrong? Sometimes you just, I mean, but this is the reunion. Yeah, exactly. You know? Catch you up a little bit. So, yeah, that's really what happened. Take a look. <laughs> and I know that you're coming, but Amani got into a car accident. Are you 
sit. Cause Dead you serious. know I was just in a freaking yeah. car accident. Dead serious. How's she feeling? Like, I think she's she's probably like a little shook up, like still kind of like in shock. And, and knowing that I'm upset because it was in my car. And you so, mama, and it's I'm like mama. yeah. You mom, it's like you mom and your yeah, friend, yeah. but your mama it's and it's in your car. When she, first of all, when she called me, she was like, "You want to be so upset with me? You will be so upset." So I was just like, "Thinking something else, something else." Then she, when she said she got an accident, girl, all I was like, it was almost like my baby, like send me a picture, send me a picture. When girl, I saw the picture, girl, tears were just like, "Are you serious?" Today, I know. You know, her daughter was in a car accident, so she didn't make it to DC Beauty Couture. So, you know what? I feel kind of bad because I was kind of like, oh, she can't make it to something else. But that's my girl, that's my niece, and I know how she is about her daughter. So, I'm glad I could be there. Did she go to the doctor? Yeah, we went to the emergency room today. I gave her a prescription for her um, Motu. 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 You say that, yeah, for her, um, for her headache. So, I'm actually glad Ty came over. We talked about so much. Had a few laughs, and she even made her a new boyfriend, Scooby, honey. He was all over her. But I am tired, and I'm ready to go. And anybody who knows Ty, baby, that girl can talk. So I am wrapped all the way up for the night, honey. Good night. All right. I'm getting out of here. You okay. and Scooby. Scooby. Yeah. Scooby. Every day on pin. Listen, so now I don't do that. I can't remember. But you saw your girl trying to bowl. But I you can't. Didn't try. I know. No, don't try me. I think I got like two. Like yeah, I saw you better than you after yeah, ran out. Was you was getting tired, but you was hitting the bag on pin. But you saw it. When nobody there. Nobody. Shout out to the to the group that absolutely had you I all were amazing. Them, yes, well, no, she was just a a, a host. Ty and Ty hosted. Mm -hmm. Hey, girl, yeah. how you doing? That's my girl from Rick Ready. So Ty and Ty, we I had the host, but there was nobody there. But, uh, but the bowling started really getting good <laughs> when Harley and the crew came. Take a look. <laughs> Got a strike. Take that, Mr. Bowling League Stefan, MUA model, icon, legendary. I'm getting a whole bunch of strikes. And now that Harley and the crew is here, I'm doing better than him. All right, so wait, let's go ahead and recap Indy Fashion Week. I think that was episode five. Yeah, that was five. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was five, five that was right? dramatic. That was episode, five. oh my God. First of all, everybody knows the Smack her around the world. <laughs> Everybody knows that. But you know what? I think I had a problem when I came in. And as soon as I came in. That mouth. That mouth. He wanted to try me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miss Nadell trying to say something about me. And I said, oh, the queen is here. Now, everybody knows I'm a nice person. But when he tried to do that, I was given, what are you talking about? And let's, let's, let's address this. Somebody on the comments <laughs> with a page with no face on it. Oh, Lord. you know how to Instagram. Yeah, Facebook yeah, Facebook. exactly. Saying that when I said, "Oh, the you're acting queenie," but the queen is here. Let's be very clear. I think that sometimes, you know, people always make us feel uncomfortable when we say anything queenie or queen. Come on now, let's be real, okay? My brother. My friends, it has nothing to do with somebody being gay. 
Stop trying that. Mm -hmm. I said he was acting queen because he was acting like the queen. And then you tried to make something crazy under the comments. You all need to stop that. Stop trolling around. But you're watching the show, so I thank you. It was probably him. I put, I wouldn't you know put, what? I, I, wouldn't I wouldn't put, put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him. I feel like he was so calculated. The way he came in, the way he moved around, I said, and the way he exited. and the way that he exited. And you all saw. Yeah, you saw like how we waving and jumping. It's five of us jumping and waving across the street. Like, and you act like you can't see. And you act like you can't see. And you drive the opposite direction that you need to drive. It was all calculated. It was all calculated. Yeah, absolutely. And I just don't didn't understand that. And then, people, I want to address this. Orlando. Now, everybody knows that Orlando is about his friendships. All right? And one thing about it, nobody was being messy. He approached Esquire, not just on behalf of Stefan Picasso. He actually approached him because he said something about him. Now, listen, let me tell you this. I have friendships with these people, and I had a friendship with Orlando and everybody else before Esquire. Mm -hmm. Yep, I sure did, because one thing about me, everybody knows, I don't like people talking about people behind their back. I've always been the type of person, I can say it to your face. Have you ever hear yeah, huh? You know, yeah. you ever hear me say something, and you come, I'm going to say it to your face. So, I just don't understand how Orlando became a bully. <sighs> I always said this. And I said this to Amber before. Just like on episode 7. When you decide to approach somebody. And even in episode 8 when I was talking to her. Just because your approach is more quiet. Doesn't mean it's not shady. And just because his approach or my approach. Was more colorful. Doesn't mean that's a bully. Mm -hmm. That's a lesson for everyone. That... <laughs> Acts like they're so quiet and so innocent. Snakes in the grass. Let me give you a little something from the heart. If you're going to have a quiet spirit, have a fully kind heart. All right? So, yeah, I just wanted to address that whole bully thing. I really didn't like how everybody was calling Orlando a bully and some of his friends. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know y'all like Esquire. But sometimes I wonder why you like Esquire so much because of the shade. And sometimes they say, yeah, because he's shady. Mm -hmm. I don't really like shady people. And if you're going to like him because he's shady after everything he did to me and you're supposed to be my friend. Go on. I have to watch you too. Hmm. I'm the... I just don't really have much to say about him anymore. Like, yeah, I'm just you're saying about that. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, and let, me, let, and let me approach some of the people that said that I let Orlando take up for me. Oh. Because a lot of you was like, oh, yeah, Stefan should have said something. I, again, back to reputation and career that a lot of you don't have. That's why you're on Facebook saying the things that you're saying, trying to make your lives much better, but you're not really doing anything. When I'm working and have a reputation and have a career, you saw clips and all that kind of stuff. You know what it is. Never. I'm not going to act a fool in front of people who have no business in my business. For y'all, for anybody, for the viewers, for Jesus, for like I said, oh, baby, Jesus, Lord, I'm the saying. Lord don't want me to act a fool. Yeah, yeah, he don't yeah, want me to act, act a fool. Him. Not when it's business. That's business. <laughs> but again, I will always say what I need to say to anybody I need to say it to. I don't need a bodyguard. I don't need a microphone or whatever else the bush called it, called him, whatever. I don't need it. I don't need it. He doesn't need it. You know. But let's take a look at what we're talking about. The things that you're saying on the side, that's all I'm asking. I don't like, know. It's just being said and then it keeps, it keeps being said that that's why it's happening. Uh -huh. Feeling a type of way about this and that. You know? so I'm glad that you just said. The first part you have to do is that. I didn't say I, oh, no, 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 not you. I'm saying about your bringing Oh yeah, that's why I'm bringing because I'm, I'm that type of person. Like when I have, when I hear something that somebody else says, I don't got time for the extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got to say, okay, well, that's why you walked in. What's going on? Right. Y'all quick to tell me. I'm supposed to tell you how I feel to you, but y'all can't do the same thing for me. If I offended you, 
be a man about it. Don't have to hide your body go. Say something. I'm the bitch. I'm the man. No, 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 no. It's not about you saying something, but it's it's far as how you it's but how you say. It. And if you're gonna say two, if you have a problem with somebody being late, um, which is really okay, but it's not really your responsibility to feel a type of way because they ain't your show. I already seen it. It's a common denominator. So I started with the group. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't speak to everybody because, like I said, I'm not. But I'm entitled to my opinion. I can't speak to everyone. I will continue to voice. But it's how you feel. Me, I'm not that person. Or you act like you don't know that they're running late. That's when the issue becomes an issue. I don't know. I'm about to go to everybody. Okay. Oh, the next real makeup artist of DC.